we just talk? Can we just talk? Talk about where we're coming before we get lost. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be doing a wig review on a new unit that I purchased about a week ago. So originally I wanted to do an unboxing with you guys so I can show you, you know, how the wig came and with the lace, how I cut it off and how I applied it. But at the time when I was re doing the review or doing the video, um, I only had four hours to get ready. I had um, a flight to Jamaica and because um, I was going on vacation, my birthday vacation to the Jamaica and I just didn't have enough time. I am going to go ahead and start a clip for you guys so you can guys see, you know, um, the original like process of me trying to get that video for you. But I'm still going to kind of do an unboxing, but I'm going to just show you how I apply the unit and then I'm going to give you my full honest opinion on how I feel about the unit. So I purchased this unit from uh, Premium Lace Wigs and I got a little makeup on the box, y'all, my bad. But this is the box. This is how it came. It came with a white box with a magenta logo um, of a lady in hair, which is really cute. And then inside the box came like a pink uh, drawstring baggie. Uh, and then it also inside has like a, a little makeup bag or like a cute little bag. They had um, adjustable straps and then also bobby pins in the back. And these are larger bobby pins for the unit. It also came with a uh, uh, rat tooth, or not rat tooth, my bad y'all. A rat tail comb, a black rat tail comb. And then it also comes with like a little, it's like a little pamphlet for like, probably like instructions. I didn't even open it up. But I'm sure it's instructions on how to take care of the hair and how to... Uh, wear the hair, yes. So basically how to take care and how to tame that hair. And this is the unit right here. Oh, and it also came, my bad y'all. It also came with a wig cap, a black wig cap. Now I'm currently using this brown knitted cap because I want my hair to breathe. And then also I'm not gonna keep this unit on no longer than like another four to five days, maybe another week. Um, only because I'm gonna go back to my natural hair. I'm gonna do something with my natural. Okay, so I'm getting straight to the unit. I have this 14 inch uh, wet and wavy like curly hair. I don't think it had a name, but it has a name. I'm gonna insert it on the side and I'll also leave it in the comments below. I'm gonna leave the link where you can purchase this below as well. But um, this is the wig. And when it originally came, it was like super dry. It looked a bit weird and I deep conditioned it. And then after wearing it for a week, this is how it looked. And it's still holding up pretty good. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and wet it. So I'm gonna go ahead and wet the unit so that I can get it in its curly state. This is me wetting it now. And then one thing I can say about this unit, you know, I did wear it for a week and I was in a lot of salt water. This unit held up really well. It still has its curl pattern. I don't plan on like blow drying it or putting any heat to it, so uh, hopefully it keep that curl pattern and it doesn't, you know, get like matted or tangled down the line. But this hair is really, really soft. Also, it's very soft. The lace, when I got the lace, it was very soft. Um, and
love it. It's gorgeous. It literally looks like a wet and go. It looks like natural hair. It's still soft, even though it's wet, it is still soft and silky. Or not silky, I'm sorry. It's just really soft and curly. Um, also, you don't necessarily have to put in product. All you have to do is just wet this hair and go. Like, cause once it dries up, it's gonna dry up until like a, a natural hair state. Like, you know, that curly hair. I usually put like mousse or I put a gel on it to hold that curl. So once it does dry, it holds the curl and then it also give it that wet look longer. So that's the only reason why I use product, but you don't necessarily even have to use product. You can just wet it and go. This wig is literally like, you can just throw it on and just go. It's gorgeous. Um, this is a 14 inch. So just to recap everything, it's a 14 inch. Um, I have three combs, two far back here, and then one in the back. It is, uh, of course, a lace wig, and I did go in with my press powder, which the press powder I use is called RK by Kiss, and it's a mineral powder. I got it in the color chestnut. And this is it here. And I believe I paid like $6, like $5.99, $6.99 for this, something like that. I'll leave it on the side. I got it from a local beauty supply store. And I did put that pressed powder inside of the unit uh, before I put it on. Um, and it just looks really good even when I was out of state. So when I was in Jamaica, I got so many compliments because everybody thought this was my natural hair because it looks that good. And mind you, I only paid $55 for this. Now, it starts at 50, but that's a 10 inch and then 12 inch is uh, so no, it, it starts at 45. So it starts at 45, that's a 10 inch, and then 12 inch is 50, and then 14 inch is 55. So I got a 14 inch because I wanted it to be a little bit longer and I wanted to make sure it was like bob and not so much like, you know, too short basically. But my honest opinion is this wig is bomb. This unit is bomb. I definitely recommend you guys uh, to purchase this unit. You will not regret it. So that is my honest opinion. I'm going to leave everything below. So I'm going to leave, you know, the links and how much I purchased and all the products I used to um, apply this wig. I'm going to use it all below. I'm going to leave it all below. So thank you guys for tuning in again. Um, if you have any questions, leave them below. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe so you can get more videos like this on units. And I also do try on hauls. And thank you guys again for tuning in. Bye.